Hi there! In this video, we will solve this 8th grade math homework question. Let's read the question. What is the length of x in the figure? Before we start our solution, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and you can hit the like button if you like this video. Let's get started with the solution. So x is common tangent line for both circles and circles are touching each other at a point. The big circle has two unit radius and the small circle has one unit radius. We will use two geometry concepts in this question. One, we will use the radius is always perpendicular to tangent line tangency and the other concept we will use is Pythagorean theorem so we will figure out this side length from the triangles we will uh, create let's draw our auxiliary lines so I will draw my perpendicular lines to the tangent line the radius is always perpendicular to tangent line so I draw another radius for the big circle and I draw another radius for the small circle so these lines are perpendicular so we can place our perpendicular sign right angle sign here I will connect this line right here all the way to top to this radius and I will also connect the radius center of the circle to the center of the circle so I can place the values on our figure so this is another radius therefore it's two unit and this is another radius this is one unit so this is the big one is exactly the x value we are looking for and this side length here this is also radius so it should be one so I can move to the top so this is also one and since this is another radius whole distance here is two units then this triangle right here will have one unit from this triangle right here so this triangle we can apply Pythagorean theorem sum of the squares of the perpendicular lines are equal to square of the hypotenuse so the hypotenuse is 2 plus 1 which is 3 square and the perpendicular lines are x square plus 1 square so we have 3 square here equals to x square plus 1 square 9 equals x square plus 1 so we subtract 1 from both sides x square equals 8 and x it will be square root of 8 so this is our solution if you simplify this square root of 8 can be written as square root of 4 times 2 and 4 will get out of the square root as 2 square root 2 is also correct for this solution I hope you enjoyed this solution I hope you liked the question please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn notifications on I will see you in the next video bye